each season that we've played so far in the top tier of the Women's Premier League. And it's no fluke. Their coach, Jonah Nadakwa, has indeed done a very yeoman's job for the team. And whenever they are playing, you can see clearly in uh, how they play, the confidence and how competitive they are in all the games that they have played. There. And then again, the players that they have with that flair and, you know, the finesse that they do play with, the likes of Comfort Yeboa, Tracy Chum, and then Ophelia Amponsa, filling in the shoes, of course, of a player like Mary Amponsa, who has for a quite a number of uh, matches now has been injured this season and is unable to feature for Ampem Dakwa ladies. But they've gotten a very good, a solid player, Ophelia Amponsa, who has replaced her so remarkably and she's performing and then doing quite a lot for Ampem Dakwa ladies. So where they've got into winning all their games, um, despite the fact that they went through that, you know, um, that unfortunate disaster um, that, that had to do with the situation whereby their uh, clubhouse got burnt. They've built out, they picked up their pieces, continued from where they left off, played all the outstanding matches. And as a result of their competitiveness and high performance, they've resumed the apex of the league table for the Northern Zone. I could say fatigue. I thought fatigue would have settled in for Ampim Dakwa because they had so many of their players in the national team as yeah. princess as well. How they were able to combine from CAF to the national level and their club is something that you can't take it away from Ampim Dakwa. Talking about the young chap, Ophelia Sewamponsa, she yeah. is leading the Malta Women's Premier League top goal scorer and she has 12 goals to her sleeve. Five matches more or six matches more to go. Let's see how many goals Ophelia Sewamponsa will finish in the 2023-2024 season, season of the Malta Guinness Women's Premier League. Definitely we are back in the southern zone. This is where SM Socrates will be taking on Army Ladies. Looking at the, these two teams, SM Socrates have left it too late, ninth on the table, but they are compiling some great results in this second half. <laughs> How do you see these two teams coming head to head with each other? Uh, it's been a game, I wouldn't say it's a game of equals because they've already met so far um, in terms of about three different competitions that they've met since ACM Socrates joined the top tier of the Women's Premier League. And out of the three competitive times that they have met, I mean, ladies have ended up winning two of those meetings with one resulting in a draw. So it tells us that the best of performance that it seemed like a Siam Socrates have picked so far in their tier, in their tie, anytime soon against a team like Ami Ladies has been just a point. But here they are, back on their turf, precisely here at the Inyana Basa um, district or Astro Turf where they are going to play this game. They have at least quite a number of their fans here. And if you look at the number of matches that is, um, a team like Isiam Socrates have played here in their last five games, they've made it a point to at least win two of those uh, last five home games that they have played. So it's also that they have quite a very good team. They are not a bit of, you know, Jotri or neither are they lethargic when it comes to performing. And they're looking at the fact that they traveled all the way to the city to beat a team like Very Ladies, you know, on March Day 12. That is a huge morale booster altogether for Isiam Socrates as they square it off with a third side uh, place team, that is Army Ladies, and it's a security team as well. So it's a different ball game altogether for Isiam playing here, and I'm so much hopeful that they will be able to continue from where they left left off uh, precisely on that fateful um, day when they Saturday when they played against the Berry Ladies. And then again, if you look at how a team like Army Ladies have slugged in recent times, this is not a team that I would say they've lived up to the Berlin. They've not lived up to the expectation as we've noted them to be since um, they joined the top tier of the Women's League. Um, somewhere last two seasons when they joined, we saw them you know, competing and then even at a point, they were leading the top tier or yeah. the apex of the league table for the southern zone, only for them to slack for the 2023-2024 season to be on the third position with just 
20 points amassed out of um, 12 games that they have played. Um, for someone like me, uh, I would say that this is not the best of records for a team like um, Army Ladies. And I'm so much hopeful that as they come here to play once again, uh, possibly they'll be able to pick up their pieces and then give out their possible best. Looking at uh, their coach still being in charge, you know, um, coach Joseph Ayangri still with Army Ladies and then counting on very great players uh, today, <laughs> the two sisters in the team, you know, Harriet Akoko Ajete and the patients now at Chair Ajete, all of them featuring for the first time, you know, this season, both of them are starting their game together. And then um, when we look at their affront, they equally have very superb players that they will be counting on for them to get them the goal. So it's a game that I, for one, am so much eager to see how a player like Adam Al Hassan today is going to compete all together with a Siam so great player that is Frederica Kai Adiko. So I'll be looking at the locker room very soon, the home team, and then the away team. Talking about Harriet and patience at Jete, it means they have a football family along them. You can tell from just like their the, the, the day and then Jordan. Yes, so <laughs> with their father and then their uncle. Yeah. So patience and then Harriet are the brother uh, or they are sisters of the late Shabokwe. Um, okay. Made a he saw rest in perfect. Yeah. We all know Shamoko when he was at his peak. So no wonder the sisters are playing for the army teams and are doing so well when he comes. So goal scoring and then the other part, you can see Harriet, the younger one being there. And patience, always the captain. She has the patience to be doing all that for army ladies. So definitely this is the locker room for the home side. I start looking at it. It's not far. Of the army locker room as well. This is the army locker room, as they say. They fear no foe. But last, uh, just at their backyard, Sea Lions nearly licked all, all the three points away from them. They had to salvage that goal from patience to at least salvage the points at home. It would have been something else for Sea Lions, who is last on the log league, to just travel all the way to Teshim Matpa to beat Army Ladies. Esther, with that match, what would have been, would it have, I don't know whether I should say it's a surprise or not, because Army Ladies, looking at Army Ladies' position and looking at Sea Lions, and they had to struggle to come back. Let me <laughs> borrow the words of Coach Abubakar Damba once again uh, of Karela United. I remember him vividly the day that he said the dying days of um, a, a horse are usually very powerful. So it, Sea Lions are already, already in the relegation zone. They know that with the way things are just six points out of 12 games that they have played, it will be very difficult, extremely very difficult for them to survive, you know, um, and then maintain their sport in the top tier of the Women's Premier League. And as for that matter, they need to go all out in all games, try to prove a point, and then even if they end up leaving, they will know that they, they fought very competitively and then end their plays in, in the top Top tier. And I'm not too surprised that they caused a lot, a lot of troubles for um, Joseph Ayangri's side when they played all the way in Accra. And that tells you that they are all out to make sure that at least with a few points that they can accrue, they will be able to do that. But let's not also forget the fact that, as I earlier indicated, a team like Army Ladies have not really given out uh, their performance. They've not attained their height so far this season. So uh, it's equally also not surprising enough because in the last five games of Army Ladies, they've won only two of those uh, last five games and drawing two and then um, you, um, losing what losing two of them and then drawing one of it. So their stats in their last five games have equally not been the best. So it's equally also not too surprising to see, you know, Sea Lions trying to pick all the three points before that salvation of a goal came from patients for Army Ladies at Mats Park. So after winning the Super Cup, they have fallen below the bells, but they need to pick up anyway. Six matches more to go. If they can accumulate all that points, who knows where they will be lying at the end of them. But mostly they always find themselves in the top four, which is at least a credit to them. Better than losing the top uh, four.
that one is, is something, at least if you're not the top of your league, you can still play the Super League in the top four positions. So but at least, at least if they had given Hazakes and then fit ladies a good competition just as they've done you know in the previous season i believe that could have been the best of them because we've seen them competing you know at the highest of uh, their performance you know always making sure that hazakes you remember how the narrative was last season when yeah. hazakes yes. had to you know seek for the apex uh, of the league table right on the match day 18 a game that they played against you know um fit ladies so hazak has had to sweat last season but the difference is that this time around they are really you know enjoying the uh, apex of the league table so that was what we expected at the Gendu Park. That was the very last match of the Malta Women's Premier League 2022-2023 season. And whoever won that match at least topped the Southern Zone. So we'll be moving on to see how Army ladies will be able to serve these three points remaining in the top four at least to defend their Super Cup. That is what much more is important. Let's look at the chances of these two coach. How would they approach this game coming into this game? It seems so creative. If you look at how the coach set up for their game when they played at Berry Ladies, he opted for the attack information. That's the 4-3-3. Um, three, three. And it indeed really um, uh, paid off for them. Winning, you know, uh, by two goals to zero when they played against Berry Ladies. And if you look at the partnership that he had up front, um, it seems so creative. Their coach lined up uh, a player like Joyce Lynn together with Frederica Kai at the co, and then um, a player equally like Mafu. They were the three players up front for um, a Siam Socrates. And if you look at how the stats after that game, they created a lot of chances. They failed to score in the first half, but when they came in the second half, they became very potent up front and then scored a lot of goals. So the same thing is happening today their coach has not varied you know his tactics he has still went he still went for the 4-3-3 formation and he has he's equally using the same three players up front that is Joyce Lynn and then Banfo and then a player like Frederica Kai Adiko so definitely the intent is still the same the formation is still the same the only thing he expects to see a difference is the energy and the resilience that his players are going to you know um, put forward in that game when they they play against army ladies but then again army ladies have been a very cautious the formation of army ladies they opted for the four two three one so it tells you that they are cautious they would love to have two a defensive midfielders that will be able to hold on the fourth in the heart of midfield for them and then going forward they would have three players that are helping up front uh, for them in that regards the likes of uh, latifa mohammed is one of the key players that their coach is really counting on you know as an attacking midfield that and then again for their goals too they would want to see them getting most of those goals and that is why their coach has equally opted for Angelica Sambek for her to be up front for them together with Sandra Adams so it's going to be quite a huge game all together and I believe that in the long run it's the best team that will end up winning so your final uh, maybe score line in the first half or your final prediction <laughs> I just give my prediction, the best team win. <laughs> okay, so that's the set up for you. This is going to be an interesting fixture. And then definitely, is ACM Socrates taking on Army Ladies, knowing how important this whole match it is for them, they will have to do everything to close up the gap. And then they are doing this, looking at them, they will have to fight very well to escape relegation. And how they will be doing that, it starts from now in their home games. And they will have to make sure they savage all the three points from here. That one will be just um, a wake-up call for them to know how they will be faring in this. We will be looking at the warm-up, the warm-up shortly for these two teams. The warm-up section, as we can see now. normal mere formal formalities for football as we could say so there is a warm-up on your screen and then definitely I will give you some kind of statistics that you need to know for this year 2023-2024 Malta Women's Premier League there is just one team who is unbeaten 
that is faith ladies in the Saudi zone. They have six wins, six draws, and they have accumulated 24 points. 13 matches, they've scored 13 goals, they've conceded seven, and they have plus six. So that is faith ladies for you. They are yet to concede or they are yet to be beaten and this season's Malta Guinness Women's Premier League. We are at Anyan Abasa in the Ajumako Anyan ACM district in the central region where ACM circuit's home ground is and they will be facing army ladies in a few minutes to come. There's a lot of interesting fixtures across various centers this weekend. Hazakas will be taking on very ladies. Sea Lions will be taking on soccer intellectuals. Faith ladies, Jonina ladies, and police ladies against ladies Joker. Lady strikers, I'll be handing over to Esther in the commentary position to take us through the first 45 minutes of ACM Secrets and Joni. Army ladies. in the central region for the March day 13 of the Malta Guinness Women's Premier League. It's the ninth place team, a Sam Socrates welcoming the third side place team, Army Ladies, for the March day 13. Temperature 33 degrees. I am Esther Bankwa. We'll be doing this alongside Nafisa Fatal. It's good to have you with us for the next 90 minutes. What are your expectations and what are you looking forward to? with just five games to end the season. It's quite a very different season altogether for all the teams involved. They started quite well. Others have ended up languishing at the bottom of the league table. This is how the two teams have been ushered on onto the pitch by the match commissioner for today's encounter. And that is in the person of Lawrence. She's taking this alongside with all the officials that will be helping her for today's encounter. I mean, ladies are fed with just 20 points after 12 games played so far for the 2023-2024 season. How will they fare? What are they looking forward to? And how is their coach, Joseph Akim Ayangri, lining up his girls ahead of the game in due course? The starting lineup for all the two teams will be made known before you. But before then, the pre-match rituals need to take place and of course formalities have to be completed before the game can kick start. Over 20 teams competing for this season's edition. And if you look at how all the zones have been paired so far, it tells you that they need to do their best in order to be at the grand finale. For the last two consecutive seasons, we've had Hazakes ladies playing against Ampem Dakwa ladies. And once again, the trajectory seems to be the same. They are leading with just five games to end the season. For Asian Socrates, this is how their coach has chosen to line up for today's encounter. Vivian Donko remains unchanged. Hana Nyame is going to captain the side. Fuseni Afusatu, Bwachi Efia Iyadom, Dreislin Amwa, Ekwia Nyameche, Frederica Kai Adiko, Abigail Amwa, Sarah Eason, and then Ibrahim together with Fusina Anan and their coaches Ebenezer upon. I mean, ladies, the visiting side have these girls for the encounter. Evelyn Yabwa, Patience Ache Ajete, Adama Al Hassan, Harriet Akoko Ajete, Ata Abrefi, Sandra Adams, Angelica Sambek, Latifa Mohammed, Leda Echan, and the Lily Nibet Lawrence together with Vera Bema, the second top scorer for the 2023-2024 season. The referees for today's encounter who are helping us to ensure that things are done accurately. Today, the center referee is at Yade Comfort. She will be assisted by Isobono Grace and then Akwete Harriet Dede. The fourth official is Bequin Beatriz and then match commissioner is Apa if you are situa. So that's a confirmation of the referees for today's encounter. And I just love how the weather is. 
and I'm just hoping to see how the girls will end up exciting the number of fans who have defiled all odds to be here to support them on this fateful afternoon. I mean, ladies and their traditional green, and they happen to be the women's football team of the Ghana Armed Forces. On the other hand, the home side is Sam Socrates, who are in white, and then looking at how the toss has been made, they would be playing from left to right in the opening half, whereas Army ladies will be playing from right to left. The officials, as usual, need to ensure that everything is in other before the game can kick start. But what should we expect and how good are they going to entertain us for the next 90 minutes? Lovely afternoon here where SM Socrates is taking on Army Ladies. It's going to be an exciting match as they will be still struggling to make sure they get that top four sport and then fight for their Super Cup as SM Socrates will also be fighting very hard to close the gap and maybe escape relegation here at Kenya Abasa Ashtote. <laughs> to pick the point and do their usual, beating them back to back as they did. And there you have Evelyn Yeboah, the goal post for Army Ladies, whereas Vivian Donko would have to efficiently man the goal post of Siam Sucrates. Vivian Donko, the MVP of the match against She did a lot of saves for her side, you know, <laughs> Siam Socrates, when they were hosted by very ladies. It was a very huge game for them, and they really had to make sure they take the game to the doorstep of um, very ladies. After all the chances that they created, they ended up getting two huge goals and then three maximum points all the way to the central region. Thanks to the brilliant save of Vivian Donko also help her team get that massive score line against Berry Ladies. Comfort at your day gets it underway here at the Enyan Abasa Astrotev in the central region. A huge game altogether. Survival for the top tier. I mean ladies in green playing from right to left in the first half. Isiam Socrates and White playing from left to right. Ikia Nyamiche for Isiam Socrates, but she ends up losing possession so cheaply to Lily Nive Lawrence, who couldn't control it. It goes behind. And then you have one of the experienced players in, uh, in the Women's Premier League as a right wing. But this time around, her coach has opted to play her as a central defender. So few variations to her position. It tells you how you know good that she is very versatile. And then the coach is entrusting that position in her care in order to ensure that they don't end up conceding on this quite a very difficult turf altogether for them. Coaches will need lovely and unique players as Adam and Hassan in, to be in your team. Any kind of formation that you have, you don't need to be changing players, but you can shift them as and when it suits them. That is something that definitely coaches will be looking out for such unique players in their team. Adama Al Hassan's effort went straight into the arms of Vivian Donko. And then, I mean, ladies would love to go all out again. Getting the goals is what they have prioritized because they know they need to do quite a lot than they did. Angelica Sambek, for lack of communication, two players of ACM Socrates ended up crashing into each other paving way for Ami to retrieve possession and then try and then make a lot of inquest 
and probing into the hub of um, of a Siam secret. Abigail by the Frederica Kai Adiko finds herself in an offside position. There was a bit of a delay in the release of the ball and Joycelyn equally couldn't time her around the world to perfection. Adamal Hassan Adam recovers, but this time around it goes behind. Sandra Adams. Other games would equally be taking place across all the ma other match venues that we do have so far as the 2023-2024 season is concerned. A challenge on Latifa Mohammed, one of the great midfield. Uh, maestros that we do have in the game. Super good on the ball. She has these accurate precisions in her passes. And Adam Al Hassan would affect it for Army ladies. And it's another shot on target by Adam Al Hassan for Army ladies. Defenders have got this kind of power on their feet. When they have this kind of set pieces and they are very good on target, they are always called on the job to deliver. When Another it... shot on target, well saved by Vivian, and she happens to have been the most active goalkeeper so far in less than five minutes of action, making three crucial saves for Siam Socrates. And that attempt was from Vera Bema, the top scorer of Army Ladies. Frederica Kaya Diko, another offside. Frederica Kaya Diko in another offside position. And this is a player that had the goals for Siam Socrates when they played against Berry Ladies. She's always a difficult player to play against. Though. And she always <laughs> identifies herself. And she's that unique. She's calm and she knows what she's about to do. Lily Nubel Lawrence for Army Ladies. Lily sprouts away beautifully from what if you here. Sandra Adams sends it in, but it's trashed away by a Sam Socrates, a follow up by Adam Al Hassan. Harriet Akoko, Belinda Echa was in an offside position again. So Ekuyenya Mitchell is going to be made for a battle between Ekuyenya Mitchell of Siam Socrates and then Latifa Mohammed. <laughs> I'm really in for this game. We are all in for this game, but definitely one will have to get a good day and whoever had the edge over the little will get and that's a mass point that we are looking for. If we are able to dominate and get the accurate passes going through and having dominate the midfield is a plus for you. Five minutes of action. We're just five games to end the season. Things need to be done differently. Corrections need to be made before it's too late, especially for ACM Socrates, who are languishing at the ninth position for the Southern Zone. Harriet Akoko AJT. Harriet skips away from Hanen Yame. Takes her time, sends it in by triples the net. And she, she knows that she needed to apologize because she couldn't send in that clean card delivery into the hub of ACM. A Friday afternoon here on the 12th of April 2024. The season is expected to end in June. So less than three months to make amends with only five games left. Lily Nibet Lawrence, Lily to Bema who couldn't control, allowing Fusena Annan to trash it up to safety for a Siam so great. It's going to be one of the busiest 
today is an office for the defenders of Isiam Sokri because they have very difficult players to uh, tussle it out with. Linda Chan, Vera Bema and the Lily Nibe Lawrence, all of them of I mean, ladies and these are very tricky players that can always be a thorn in the flesh of defenders. It has always been tricky and easy match for army ladies because so many times they have met, they have won on two occasions and they've drawn one. Once this is going to be their fourth, that is why ACM Socrates is trading cautiously not to concede because they need that three massive point to make them close gap or just lift out of the relegation table. Adiko once again in an offside position. And I'm sure this is something that the coach would really work on, Coach Ebenezer, because she has found herself in very key positions. But for the lack of perfection in the timings of her runs, she has always ended up being flagged offside. Frederica Kai Adiko against Latifa Mohammed, and the latter wins the tassel, Latifa Mohammed. Sandra Adams. Great interpositional play by Army Ladies. As we approach the 10th minute of the game. That was the release of the pass by Sandra Adams to Bema with a lovely turn trying to locate the feet of Lily Nibel Lawrence, but it wasn't successful. Beautiful on look pass. And she was caught on offside. The same surface on there. I mean, ladies. Sandra Adams. Bema couldn't control it. Kenya Meche loses the battle to Harriet Akoko, who couldn't locate Bema. Frederica Kai Adiko motions into the half of Army Ladies, but the final delivery was not the best allowing the army to quickly have a reprieve by trashing their lines. Vivian Donko. And bear mind your shots is the second top scorer of the season. It goes so far for army ladies in this season. She talked for weeks before Ophelia just, just, Licked it out for her. Just these two outstanding matches for Amplida who have made Ophelia possible. Frederica Kaya Duko once again and a poor delivery. She can do better. She was looking forward to at least send a very teasing and tempting cross in. So it's deflected. Linda Echan motions forward for Army Ladies. Vivian gets the ball. Ten minutes. It's ACM Socrates zero, Army Ladies zero. March day 13. Other games that will be taking place across the match centers includes tomorrow's game between Hazakes Ladies and Berry Ladies. And that game is airs at the Jendu Park. Sea Lions would square it off with soccer intellectuals. Faith ladies would welcome Jonina ladies at the Carl Ridolf Park tomorrow as well. And then police ladies would welcome lady strikers on Sunday at 2 p.m. at the Aladro Astro Tef. Frederica Kai Adiko with the advantage for a Siam so great for the Northern Zone. These are the games that will be taking place for the match day 13 of the Malta Guinness Women's Premier League. Free kick by Boachi Efia Yadom of a Siam so great. A header and they find the back of the net. The first attempt. It's on time.
target and it finds its way into the net to give the home side the lead. And look at how they celebrate unconfined joy for a sound so great. The brown blood taking the lead here at the expense of the best inside army ladies. How about that delivery from Wachi Efia Yadom? And the final header finding its way into the net. Evelyn Yabwe's first attempt to make a save failed to do that for army ladies. It's a Siam Socrates great one. Army ladies zero. Great goal scored by Fuseni Afusatu of Siam Socrates. Afisa too was right at the right position at the right time. Look at the flight of the cross that went till it measured and she just had to just, just, just do nothing. But the, the defenders were caught ball watching. At the point in time, there was a defender clearly on her, but for that split second that they could just leave her to just get her head, look at the height of Afisa too. Leaving her having that great, Evelyn could have done better on that shot as well, I felt. Delayed in jumping, resulted in a first goal for SCM Sophie. They needed it more, they are much more hungry for that. And that happened to have been the first shot on target, the first attempt, and the first goal for SCM Sophie. Just to when the services of Evelyn was needed, she has virtually been idle for the last 20 minutes since the game began. The first attempt, the first effort of hers wasn't fought for. Free kick to Army ladies and Vivian Donko has been called upon once again to do what she does best. And that is to save it and deny army ladies from getting the equalizer. Adama Al Hassan. Adama, it's on target. But this is quite a fragile one that wouldn't pose any threat at all to Vivian Donko. A retake of it, a replay of it for your own Perimsel. Go kick quickly taken. And the save by Vivian Donko was indeed a huge relief for the home fans. 15 minutes. It's Yam 1, Ami Ladies 0. And Sea Lions. who are at the relegation zone together with ACM so great will be very worried looking at how good ACM have been in the second round of the season. Evelyn, Evelyn Yeboah, hard to control that. ACM so great, Rebecca Kayadiko wasn't on target. A Kenya Mitchell smiles at that attempt. Frederica Kayadiko with that backflip, knowing that definitely she had a player behind. She put it on the feet of a Kenya Mitchell. Okay, I'm sure on that team should have been doing better because it was just right on target. If she had hit it with a punch, definitely we will be seeing um, either a brilliant save or a second goal in this afternoon's match. I mean, ladies, Atta Abrefi. We are trailing in less than 20 minutes and patience. Now Ache Ajete sets it up all together for Linda Chan. Go kick.
Match Day 13 live on Max TV, kind courtesy of IMAX Media. And this happens to be the third consecutive time that we've seen live telecast of Women's Premier League matches live on TV for all fans across the globe to enjoy just as it's done for their opposite gender. And since it was brought on TV, live matches, the acceptability of women's football has indeed been very immense and has been embraced by all and sundry. And gradually, the gap has been closed. We've seen massive turnouts for women's football in all games of the national teams and equal in the grand finale of the Women's Premier League, the matches that have been played in Accra and then in Kumasi, massive turnout as well. And if there is any recent testimony of that, it has to do with the recently held All African Games. Frederick Akai Adiko, Balili Nibel Lawrence, to Adama Al Hassan. Linda Etan in the pursuit of that with Sarah Aysen. Ata Abrafi could not ensure that she holds on to possession for army ladies. And just when you need to credit how Ibrahim didn't give her that luxury of space in order to make any meaningful of that possession that she had. Latifa Mohammed to Lily Nibel Lawrence. Lily playing against the defenders of Isiam Socrates. They did so much well when Army ladies were making the incursions, creating the chances, pressurizing their defense, they maintained their composure, and they struck at the right time to get the lead. Getting set pieces is something that you need to draw fouls closer in and around your box to take advantage of it, and that was what ACM Sophie did. They, they had a, a little bit of fine midfield, drawing that set pieces and then just a bang was on the scoreline. It has made Army ladies to withdraw to a bit settle back a bit, not to move too forward because that, that was what they started at the beginning. They were pushing high line, making sure they could draw that first goal, but it bounced back on them. Now they have to trade cautiously as they are moving forward. They don't want to concede the second goal as well. So as a fine game we are witnessing now, it looks as if um, that's simple, but it's not that simple for army ladies as well. They need to fight back and try to see if they can pull that, reduce that deficit or just pull one back before they know if they can go ahead. It has been history. They know they've been beating ACM Socrates all along. And now, as look at um, a turnaround, game not over yet, but during the first, sometimes it destabilizes you and your formation that you, you bring into the first half. Once you've considered, you need to find a way of equalizing then. In the last five games of Isiam Socrates here at the Inyane Basa Astrotep, they lost by a long goal to Hazaka's ladies. They, however, picked their pieces and beat Sea Lions by a long goal. Sandra Adams sent it in. Army ladies with a chance. Atta Abrafi. She was unmarked but failed to drop parity for her side. And her actions and countenance sums up her disappointment as well. On a Sam Socrates beat police ladies by a long goal.
they were however beaten 2-1 by soccer intellectuals and the Sam Socrates also lost 3-1 to Berry Ladies in their last five home games. Army Ladies, on the other hand, have a very good record on the road, having picked two great wins on the road. They beat Sea Lions by four goals to zero. They beat Police Ladies by three goals to two, but ended up losing by a long goal to Fit Ladies. They drew 1-1 with a soccer intellectuals, but Ami were beaten 2-1 at the Jindu Park by Hazakes ladies. So these are the stats of the last five games of each of these two teams. And just as the season is about to end, things need to be done right. Corrections need to be made for better results at the end of the season. The ball goes behind, and that would be an advantage for Ami. And that throw was quite an unfortunate one. Ami tries to make it to for a Siam Socrates. Ami were caught napping and sluggish in defense. A throw in that was meant to be an advantage for them rather turned out to be a huge disadvantage. But for the timely intervention of Adam Al Hassan, it would have been two goals for a Siam Socrates. Corner kick. Watchy Efia Yadom takes it for a Siam Socrates. And this was quite a poor one as well. Atta Abrefi of Ami. To patience, Ache Ajete. Patience stands lovely. Wanting to locate Lily Nivellores. But Lily was hugely in the defense of players of a Siam Socrates preventing her from getting that ball and that has to do with the attempt of watching a fear Iadom. A char Linda of Army Ladies, a char Linda to Harriet Akoko Ajete. Frederica Kai Adiko. Fabrika Kai Adiko, she has Adama to tussle with, but Adama has always been that difficult defender. Not even when she has assumed the central defense role. On the right wing is difficult. How about her being central today? <laughs> Lily Nobel Lawrence fouled by Efia Yadom. And if you look at how efficient if he had a husband, recovery, recoveries as well. Helping in defense, helping in attack for you see I'm so great. Adama with this free kick for Ami. It's headed away by Abigail. Frederica Kai Adiko. Ibrahim to Joyce Lynn, but patience at Che AJT reclaims possession for Ami. It's ninth against the third. Ghana Armed Forces female team, Ami ladies. It swung in. Bafusena Anan hurts it. Which goes as far as where Sandra Adams is. Frederica Kai Adiko drops deeper to help her defense. She knows that they need to protect that one goal that they've had, and they've done that quite very good. Go kick. 
the defending numbers, the attacking numbers. This is what I have seen, what SM Soviet is doing. They don't leave anyone behind. When they're attacking, they're attacking numbers. And when they are defending, they're defending numbers. But they are using the right uh, wing where Ade uh, Frederick, uh, Frederica is. That is what they do. They are not getting chances in the midfield now. So what they normally do is when they get the ball right to the wings. Lilini Bellorins to Bema. I mean, ladies, but it's grabbed. And she requested defenders to be more vigilant. Harriet controlled it before it was struck. It seems so great. But Atha Abrafi. The freaky goes away of the best inside I mean ladies who are trailing by the goal that was called. By Siam Socrates. I mean ladies. They are looking for better results in order to give fit ladies and then Hazakis ladies a can competition at the top of the league table for the southern zone. But with just 20 points in 12 games, it will be difficult for them to do that because Hazaka is already on 29 points and Fed ladies are on 25 points. Free kick to Army ladies. Another privilege for them to make things right. It's ballooned away for goal kick. And Sandra Adams knows that that wasn't the best of efforts. What a break at the moment. And this is where the coaches would have that rare opportunity of talking to their players. They need to restress. They need to imbibe. They need to retreat what needs to be done right. For the side that is leading, ACM Socrates, their coach might possibly be a bit satisfied with how they have managed the first 20 minutes of the game. However, for Army ladies, their coach will be very disappointed because they've gotten good opportunities. They've had lots of shots on target, but none have resulted in a goal. Just when Efia Yadom sent this in, Fuseni Afusatu, who was unmarked, said, thank you. This should be my first goal for the season for my team as well. Great Heather that Evelyn had nothing on it. Evelyn could have timed her jump well. It just looked at Afisa was marked clearly, but just for a second, they just um, slide and let it go. That was where she had that um, glimpse of the header to make it 1-0 for ACM Circuit. But if it's water break, then it's a charging moment rather for the supporters of ACM Circuit. They have really sat down to have reflections They've seen their team giving them spectacular performances in their last season in the top tier at the Mankesima Strotev. However, due to certain things that were not done accurately, they are currently flattened with relegation. And if things do not change, they might end up going back to Division 1.
And I'm sure this is not what the supporters want. And as such, they are giving them all the moral support in order to come back strongly for the remaining games and win the games for their people and fans. If you could hold on to this three points at the end of 90 minutes, at least they are making it a, a way up there because they'll be on the seventh position if they should maintain the score line like that. They are much more hungry. They have done enough the second round, but they left it too late, which they need, as somebody would say, all the six matches left, that would be about 18 points to be able to survive. Frederica Kai Adiko with Sandra Adams and Sandra Winston. But if he, he had um, had to get it back before, I mean, ladies, clear their lines, throw in. Ibrahim will take it for a Siam Socrates. If they should hold on to this victory, it would mean that they've recorded very huge, great results in their last two games. They went on the road, picked three points for Medina Astrotev when they played against Berry Ladies. So to come back to Enyane Basa Astrotev and then beat Amin Ladies, then that means things have been done right and they might end up surviving the top tier. The relegation battle is too close from the safe position downward. If you can amass all the 18 points remain, then you, you can secure yourself out of relegation as a stand. But they have crucial matches they'll be playing among each other and looking at the table. And then they will have to still, either you have to win all your home matches, that one has to be a guarantee, and then you see when you trek along, you see how many points or how you can pick points along the way, not to lose. Clearly, if you lose at this time, I don't think it will be a, a point of survival for you. You need to amass all your home matches and then find out if you can pick points as you trek along the road. Joyce Lane is taking off the pitch for further treatment before she might possibly rejoin her side, who are already in the lead. That is, a Siam Socrates. And as such, at the moment, Ami have an advantage in reference to numbers at the expense of the home side. Abigail, but loses out to Harriet Akoko. 35 minutes played. And patience, I chair Ajete, the captain of Army Ladies, who hasn't really featured much for her side in this game. Her influence has not really been felt. And there she is, patience, I chair Ajete, playing together with her sister, Harriet Akoko Ajete, the captain of the side people will have to remember her as the sister of the late Shambo Queen. Football runs in the family and they do it so effortlessly. <laughs> if you look at the fluidity with which they play, you would say that indeed they are always players to look at for. Go kick, Vivian. Of the Siam Socrates. She actually is in no haste at all. The lead is what matters to them. 35 minutes. I mean, ladies, Harriet. Harriet trying to find Linda by putting work. And there have been positional changes between Lily Nibel Lawrence and Linda Echar. Linda Echar has not dropped to the left side of attack, whereas Lily Nibel Lawrence has gone to the right.
Latifa Muhammad of Army Ladies in a bit of discomfort. She's back on her feet as the game continues. If you she has virtually covered all the grass. And she is a sister of the only goal scored by Isiam in this game. She assisted Afusa to get the goal. And that assist was from that free kick that she took. A sumptuous one for that matter. Advantage is going the way of I Amin mean, ladies. As they are looking forward to float this ball in, they need to do better. Vivian Donko, with good anticipation of the ball, she gathers. She nearly allowed Harriet Akoko to benefit from that rebound. She has to be very careful. This is the second time she's grabbing the ball and dropping it just right in front of her. She might not be the third time lucky because they are seeing that kind of loophole. I mean, ladies, Linda Echea, as we approach the 40th minute of the game, Adamal Hassan, but Sarah gets it for Isiam Sokrit. The composure of Adamal Hassan is indeed admirable. Always calm. And even in her calmness, she does the job. What exactly was Vivian Dongo trying to do there? She can't afford to commit any howler. That will prove costly for her side. Lack of communication between she and Hananyame. Corner kick for Army Ladies. It swung in. After rattling the goalpost, it's resent in once again by Army Ladies. Harriet, but Frederica Kayadiko gets it. Sets up Joyce Lynn, who has Angelica Sambic to contend with. And the latter gets it. 40 minutes here. Esiam Sokrit 1, Army Lady 0. However, that of a lovely piece of pass. From Frederica. From Fred from Frederica Kai Adiko to Joyce Lynn Amoa. Army ladies on the ascendancy. We're just 40 minutes played so far for the first time. It's here. So great, Frederica Kai Adiko, but Angelica Sambek does the job once again. And you would say that for the lion's share of possession, dominance, precision, lots of attempts, incursions, and possession of the game, Joyce Lama with that. That huge beneficiary has to do with the home side, you see, I'm so great. Sarah, she sent it in, but Evelyn does a better job. Lily Nube. And you see I'm really clear possession. It's swung in again. And dry slain. I want is in an offside position. Difficult game for Army Ladies so far. The formation or the tactical formation of Army Ladies didn't come to play in this very first half. 
I guess the goal, the early goal stabilized them that they had to re strategize and it's really not working for them. As ACM Soviets are doing all their possible best to be behind each and every ball, every 50 50 balls they are within there to make sure they clear their lines and then they move as a unit, as they say, they attack as a unit and then defend as a unit. It's making it difficult for army ladies to oppress. Don't forget their last two games for army ladies as if they've lost one and they've drawn one, which is not good for them. They need to up their game. Fabrika Kai Adiko. Three minutes to end the opening half. Fabrika Kai Adiko. And Sambek handled the ball at the blind side of the referee. You see, I'm so great. I've gotten the numbers. They've gotten the number. 12 here as they see um, Ibasa Astrotev. The fans have really turned up in their numbers to support their side. Sarah, it's sent in once again, but there is no player of Isiam Socrates liking with intent in the half of Army Ladies because if there was a player that would have been. Double misery for army ladies. Adam Al Hassan. Adama had lots of collapse to the Black Queens since Coach Nora Hapto took over for Ghana's Black Queens. And whenever she gets the call up, she plays. And whenever she plays, she excels. Sadra Adams to Adam Al Hassan. Adama. Abigail is really doing a lot of job out front as well for ECM Socrates. The efficiency of Isiam Socrates have have been felt in all departments of their team, both the defense, the midfield, and the attack. They've been very proactive, and they have delivered. They had a bit of injury at the beginning of the season. Um, some players needed to settle in, and they had a few players to deal with. I guess now that they had that long break and then the second round break. Vivian Donko saved. She nearly allowed the Army ladies to get their equalizer right on the stroke of half time. Sandra Adams, another faulty pass that nearly found the feet of the Kenya Mitchell. Sandra Adams, Bahana Nyame, closes it up to safety for a Siam Socrates. The 45 minutes is up, and it will be four minutes of additional time. Latifa Mohammed has been asked to leave the pitch and see to it that she has everything in order before she can rejoin her teammates. Since Army Ladies joined the top tier of the Women's Premier League, they came together with fit ladies, and since they came, They've always been part of the top four. Either army ladies or is either faith ladies. And I always enjoy their games when they are playing together. It's a match of equal, and you can't take it away from them. When they started playing, their games were held at the Elwax Sports Stadium. But up to date, they are not playing 
at Teshi Max Park, Teshi Military Academy, in their own <laughs> yard. So it's surprising that if you're a team and you go there and you don't end up performing very well, you can just wonder how difficult it will be for you to leave there without drinking a lot of goals. Sea lions walking. <laughs> And they had that vital point. I don't know. They wanted the three points, but Army ladies were too strong enough for them to just let it go. They had to solve it that point. Putting them on the third position. We've played two minutes out of the four minutes of additional time. We're just two left. And Army, out of necessity, would need to respond. Linda Cha. Sarah Aysen. Of his I'm so great. To Frederica Kai Adeko. Frederica Sprouse away from Sandra Adams. To Joyce Lynn. And Joyce Lynn. Ends up giving it away to Ami. Ekuyan Yami Cherry Claves. Hanen Yami. The captain of Esiam. To Fuseni Afusatu. The player that had the only goal for Esiam Socrates. Throw in. Lily Nibet Lawrence, who is now on the right wing of attack for Army Ladies. Match day 13 live on Max TV. Other games are equally underway as well in the Northern Zone. And for Sioux, Royal Ladies have so far taken the lead by two goals against Tamale Super Ladies. The first half ends here at the Inyane Basa Astrotev. Isiam Socrates 1, Army Ladies 0. And that goal is kind courtesy of Fuseni Afusatu of Isiam Socrates. The first shot on target. Evelyn Yabuako not safe for Army Ladies. And that was a thank you moment for Afusatu Fuseni of Isiam Socrates. They get the lead here, so it ends for the first half. Isiam Socrates 1, Army Ladies 0. Benye Biato, Ewa Masmat, Marina Mall, Melcom, Shoprite, China Mall, Bachina Total, Ana Supermarkets, any agro input dealer shops, Bia Ewa or Maimo. And now say, Ubit me a phrase 0544 338 247. Kill them all, kill them all, Jess is out and kill them all. 
No more clapping, no more slapping, just the spray will kill them all. Use it once, use it twice, do not be there if your wife spin that down. Hey, him, get out in and get them out. Out insecticide, so we are boar for her. Medisoft police, one by a one by Medisoft police, one by a one by. Under running water, wash your hands with Medisoft. When you want to take a shower, Medisoft is the answer. Medicated and kills chance. My paddy, you got to be smart. Say, who free toilet now? I'm rolling, sir. Medisoft police. Somebody, we make you do the right thing. Medisoft police. Medisoft police. Yeah, by a bed Make you do the right thing. Medicated. 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 Yeah, Medicated. 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 Police. Everybody knows acrobato. And if you know acrobato, it means you know M Punch homeopathy clinic. As an international journalist and actor, my health is my priority. M Punch homeopathy clinic is my pillar in terms of my health. Let's hear what others are saying about M Punch homeopathy clinic. Sister, please, you let him talk to you. Who will be M Punch one? Chase na mi anka sa mi prod na se problem su wo mu enti na ma wo ho idea ma me papa papa chese na nya asem ketua me kwa point no mo hwe me mo gem no mo hwe bibia na so mo me dru mo me dru a me fine no ene ma won kura me nu ko fro kwa na mo kwa mu a eba ti ani je dia ba fie pa you had everything yourself me ma me no ajojo e da ho a won tumi na ante ene ne ko end point o ma ma nu nu a ene ne ho idea wati mi asori ana ante that's end point for you of our brother hello hey o shu shu what che okay a free bra would be point what dance. I'm a choir, no. Me do so some name quay and pass one of my main and a magina sabema. Now, maybe if you have for the hard in a jarasa. You had everything. I have secret. M point is my secret. M point from your party clinic. I'm free. This is how the match, day 13 of the Malta Guinness Women's Premier League, all began here at the Inyane Basa Astrotev as these two teams came onto the pitch with a penultimate motive of ensuring that they end up winning this game. It's Sam Socrates who are placed on the ninth position as they welcomed the Army ladies who are on the third position. Comfort at Hyade, the center referee for today, had to get us started all together. And just when we started, as usual as often, They dominated at some point, but just when they slacked, just when their defense was caught napping, Afusa to put a Sam Socrates, the home side, in the lead. And they knew how huge that goal was for them because that was their first shot on target, the first time that Evelyn Yeboa needed to make a save. When the game started, after almost 15 minutes of action, their first attempt, their first shot on target, resulted in a goal. Greatly taken by Efia Iadom. And then lovely headed home by Afusatu for Isiam Socrates. After taking the lead, it seems so great to that they needed to protect because they are equally playing against a very potent and a vibrant side. Joyceland had this chance to double the lead of his CM, but Adamal has an intercepted. And then Bema Vera, who sets up patience, Atre Ajete. But Atre Ajete's effort was grabbed with ease. I mean, ladies needed to ask better questions from the defense of a Siam Socrates. But this wasn't one of those good questions to ask. Vivian Donko, whether near Howler, that could have allowed Ami to have drawn blood. Sarah AEC's delivery air, which was saved. Before Vivian.
Peruvian don't forget that this for a Siam so great. But not only did the Siam so great get the lead, they equally dominated in all departments of the game, making it very difficult for army ladies to have any sign of relief or optimism. And having seen enough for the first half, the referee had to blow her whistle to end proceedings for the opening half. So the first half ends here at the Nyanebasa Astrotev. I see I'm so great one, I'm a lady zero. It's half time here at Enyan. Half time as Enyan Abasa here, where the home team, SM Stokrit, is leading Army Ladies by a goal to nil. Elsewhere in the Northern region, Fosu Royal Ladies is also leading two goals to nil against Tamale Super Ladies. I have here a fine coach with him to tell me what really happened to Army Ladies because for no chance that Army Ladies have been beaten by SM Stokrit. What was the system or the formation in the very first half? Okay, so um, just as I've been saying every day, uh, football has uh, its own language that it speaks. So uh, it, uh, histories are bound to make and unmake. Um, I told them during the game that um, a player on mat is the most dangerous one. And you could see there was some miscommunication um, within our defensive there that caused that uh, blunder between us and them, and that caused a goal. We just gave out that goal for what uh, it has caused us. That you is just this is was army ladies who were dominating, having shot on target. The first target on target, uh, the first shot on target for ACM Sokris resulted, or the first set pieces resulted in the goal. What is going to be the defensive um, communication because that was what is happening, and it has happened not the first time. They have been on two, three occasions that um, your communication between your back four is not really clicking. What is happening? Okay, so um, the central, especially the central backs, um, one is not indigenous one. Yeah, you could see um, we have some kind of injuries and backlogs within our camp. So we, 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 we advised them, spoke to them so that they would take that mandate and then just operate from that angle. Yes, we haven't able to find our fortress within the day, but um, I think that my competent coaches um, behind back door will do the job and talk to them so that when we come back, we can be able to overturn the score line. Um, down now we're standing, you could see that we are also um, um, in charge of the game. We've taken control of the game. You could see all the departments working as well. And I, I hope after the recess, we are going to bounce back and then just turn everything and to be on our positive side. So Army Ladies is looking for a very good second half. How are they going to do that? It's only the next 45 minutes to tell how Army Ladies will be able to equalize and see if they can win. But they always say the dying horse, which is ACM Soccer, don't want to leave a mark. They want to at least stay in the Malta Guinness Women's Premier League. And they are fighting for it. So definitely we'll be having um, Barbara up here to also explain to us what ACM Socrates have done right in the very first half and what they will do in the second round as well. Barbara, good score line for you. From Accra to here is a home match. Lovely serene. What did ACM Socrates did right in the first half to result in that goal? I think the players are determined to remain in the league because now you can see how Women's Premier League is dominating in the system. If you are out from the Premier League, I think no, no uh, investor or anybody will see you playing. So I think they are very determined to remain in the league. What formation did you deploy in the very first half that saw you giving that comfortable, do I say comfortable lead or you are just <laughs> okay in the first half? It's like, um, I know army ladies, they play very good and sometimes if you listen to how they play and then you try to play with them, they will find all the ways and means to score you. But when you feel comfortable, play your own rhythm, I think you can score. So um, at, at the first half, we were playing for 4-4-2. 
for the first half and then later we change it to the uh, we we try to bring more attackers to the uh, to the front so that we can dominate in the front but the back we are okay but the front we try to bring more in attackers to play from there looking front. at the ring you have been operating much more on the right wing where Frederica is yeah. most of the ball goes there and then waits for the supply to come before giving that cross what is going on because definitely sometimes they are late they, uh, they have to um, main offside that they have looking at it what are you going to do because if you lose such opportunities and army ladies counter on that is going to be punished but what are you going to do to make sure the second half you extend your lead or even if anything you can maintain i think um as for frederica we all know how this girl is she's top she whenever she's on the ball we feel comfortable because she will do the pull out and the the nine and the ten will do the uh, the, the, the goal scoring for us but I don't know what is happening for them but I think the coach will do the corrections in the dressing room and then they will come back later. Talking of dressing room, Adama Al Hassan, the brilliant defender has been on Frederica at that side. You can see it's a battle between them and when you cut the supplies coming from Frederica it means it's going to be worrisome for ACM Sokwit. What are you going to do in the second half to make sure she has that room to operate? I think we will, we will, we will make sure she she played to the rhythm of the game because I know the second half, it won't be like the first half. Ami is going to do all the ways and means just to make sure they equalize or score us. But the coaches will also make, make sure everything is successful and then bring in more attackers to operate in the front. What are we expecting in the second half for ACM so great? <laughs> well, <laughs> I think um, we will make sure we, we defend our goal or maybe add up. Okay, yes. so Barbara is saying that either they defend their goal or may, they make sure they extend their tally to either two and see how they can survive the relegation battle. Army Ladies is also seeking top four. They need to defend their Super Cup and this time around they are not leaving chances. But the gap is widened between Hazakes, Faith Ladies and Army Ladies because they haven't had a good result in their last two matches, just picking out a point. Are you taking advantage? Sure, because I'm, I'm playing home. <laughs> so definitely, I will need the army officer to come and counter. I need your final um, predictions before we go. She is saying they need to maintain or see whether they can extend. What is army ladies bringing out in the second half? Just for a final wrap-up so that we see. Okay, so just as I said, we have um, a well uh, tactical coaches at the backstage who has observed what happened during the first half. So they are going to sit, go, go, just go back to the tactical board and then just read what happened, what didn't go on well, that what went on well, and we just bounce back in the, first, in the second half. Um, they should expect nothing but um, unforeseen uh, circumstances. Bullet and bullet, they are going to fly without their notification. So that one, bullet and bullet. Me. We have Vivian in the goalpost, who was the woman of the match last season. Are you sure you are going to surprise her this time around? Okay. So just as I said once again, you see we have just um, taken in charge of the game. And um, it's, it's going to be the same. We are going to maintain it so that we can overturn the score line. Okay. That is it. So they are going to maintain the score line. Somebody wants to extend the lead and they need it as much as it's going to be. Second half is a way for us and we will see who wins this game. Is it going to still be a same Socrates maintaining or leading or they will double their chance? Or army ladies will do a comeback. Only the next 45 minutes will tell. I'll be handing over to Esther in commentary position for the next 45 minutes, taking us through from Enyan Abase Astrotech here. Welcome to the second half, a mixture of relations, anxiety and emotions, where all these two teams have gotten the chance. The technical teams have had their moment with these players. If once again, let them be aware of the situations on the ground and the need for them to improve or perhaps maintain whatever that they did in the first opening half. Is the Nyane Basa Astrotev, I mean, ladies in green, this time around in the second half, playing from left to right, whereas it's Sam Sokrit in white, playing from right to left in the second half. Is Sam Sokrit are still holding on to that first half goal that he had through Afusatu. 
in the early minutes of the game. And that is the goal that I mean, ladies will need to do things right if they are to leave here with any point at all, or perhaps a Sam can double their lead. Sandra Adams, Latifa Mohammed, to Lily Nibel Lawrence, who has a Kia Nyameche to battle it out with. The throw in is the March day 13 of the Multigenes Women's Premier League. And just to remind you that other games are as well on the way across different venues. Joycelyn Amua goes to the ground, but referee says it was a fair challenge, and as such, the game must continue. I mean, ladies, Vera Bema with that lovely footwork to set up Lenza Echa, Ami, Sandra Adams gives it away so cheaply to a Siam Socrates. Angelica Sambek. Patience Ache Ajete. And patience without shrug. But the referee didn't see that earlier. And that was the challenge by patience Ache Ajete. Obviously, a frustrated figure so far. She has been charged with the responsibility of ensuring that her team comes here to the Enyane Basa AstroTev and to leave with a point or perhaps with a maximum three points. But things haven't been done right so far. Patience at KRJT with that first yellow card of the game brandished to her but by referee Comfort at her day. It was an uncalled for character. A very clumsy tackle there by Patience Atreya AJT. Angelica Sambek. And Ami ladies are still looking forward to getting that crucial equalizer. Vivian Donko. Vivian Donko sends it in. Quite a very long one. And Joyce Lynn has to give Adam Al Hassan that hot chase for the ball. Adam Al Hassan. A referee awards her that advantage. And Afusa Tufusaini, who is very mesmerized at the turn of events. Army ladies. It's floated in. But Vivian Donko gathers for her side. Go kick. Examine yeah, ladies. But Vera Bema was already even in an offside position. 15 minutes played so far. And it's still a Siam Socrates one. Ami ladies zero. An effort there by Ibrahim of Isiam Socrates. Latifa Mohammed. Lily Nubet Lawrence gets an advantage there for Ami ladies.
Frederica Kai Adiko to a fear Iadom. And it's drawing. You would say that Ami look a bit quite improved from the first half performance that they put out there. The very first five minutes of the first half, that was where Ami ladies were dominating till um, ACM so could find the back of the neck that stabilized them and they had to make sure they reorganize themselves again. I guess that's what they have picked up the pieces from in the very second half because they need that equalizer to see how they will be able to find the answer to the three points that they are looking for here at the Etan Abase Astro Tip. But clearly, you can see ACM Socrates are in for a plan. They just need all the three points at home. This is where Vivian Donko comes, grabs the ball calmly for her side. And she's got a bit of time, so she's not in a rush to um, load the ball in for a restart of the match. She's taking her time. And a long drive in there. It is for Army ladies to defend. And Angelique Sandberg could not hold on to that. He's going in for a throw for SCM Socrates. And then we played that throw in soon. Sarah Aysen. Another throw in for SCM Socrates. 51 minutes gone here. Army ladies are creeping forward gradually. Sarah, anywhere will do for her at the moment. Safety first as a basic principle in defending. Abrefi effects it for Army ladies. Army still in control. Patience Atreya Ajete takes a tumble. Ata Abrefi for Army ladies. She gives it away to Efia Yadom. And Angelica Sambek needed to shepherd this well into the arms of Evelyn Yeboa. Linda Echa to Patience Atre Ajete. Lily Nibella is going to pick it. And she's very disappointed. Her disappointment lies in her smile. <laughs> She disappointed. <laughs> she knew she, she knew, really needed to have picked that ball because that was what she needed to have done in order to send it in. But she was a bit very sluggish in picking it up. I mean, ladies, patience at Trea JT. Sandra Adams gives it away, and Sandra hasn't attained her height in the game so far for her side. Sandra Adams is expected to help Lily Nibel Lawrence on the right. Form of attack, Frederica Kai Adiko is lacking and waiting for the ball. A key amateur. Evelyn, rudely sported, are the right sport for Army ladies. She had too much of space and time, and she needed to have done better. Frederica Kai Adiko is flagged offside again just as she started in the first period. Ekwien Yamache was the one who set her up, but the offside margins was very huge. Adamal Hassan. Afusa Tufuseni to Abigail. Joycelyn Amwa 
with a very poor first touch. Frederica Kayagi go to Abigail. Frederica sent it back. Frederica handball. Referee. Comfort at here day. And this would obviously be one of those major talking points at the end of the game. Sandra Al Hassan's hands. It was in a natural position that I could say because she didn't lift it to block the ball. It was just natural that it just hit. That was a natural position I, I could say this. The referee was spot on. I don't know. She never extended the hand to block the ball. She never put the ball, uh, her hand in the space Sandra of the ball. Sandra Adamal Hassan just needs to thank her stars that she wasn't in the penalty area. That would have been a straight penalty for a Sam Socrates. Joycelyn Amua. Joycelyn. Free kick. And it's another yellow card. This time around, it goes to Angelica Sambek of Ami. So Ami ladies have two players on a yellow card. And that means that they need to maintain their highest form of composure ever for the remaining minutes. Other than that, another one will lead them for early shower. Joycelyn Amwa has really held on the fort up front for Ami for her side is Siam Socrates. And this is another glorious opportunity presented to them. Another set piece. For them to double their lead. And I'm so much optimistic that watching if he had on would really fancy that. Of course, players have to be disciplined. They need to adhere to referee's instructions. You are injured on a pitch, you need to leave the field. Free kick to SCM Socrates. Privilege for them to double their lead. Changes made. This time around by the player who would affect the free kick. Abigail is behind the ball for Isiam Socrates. Abigail takes it, not on target. And anytime they make efforts, anytime it doesn't go right, Every player has his or her own way of expressing what they feel. But for Abigail, she chose to smile. She knows that the next attempt might be glorious. Adama Al Hassan. Latifa Mohammed. Sandra Adam strikes. Go kick. It's go kick to SCM Socrates. It's an argon here at the SCM Socrates Park, precisely the Nyane Basa Astrotev, where they have taken the lead by a long goal, kind courtesy of Afusatu Fuseini. And that is what Ami have been huffing and puffing all this time around in order to draw parity. Joyce Lane, by Angelica Sambek, heads it to her goalkeeper, Evelyn Yeboa. Afusa Tufuseini. Patience at Triageti to Atta Abrefi. 
but Vivian Donko Gardes. Good turn of events, end to end stuff in the last few minutes since the second half started. And obviously, the coaches might have done lots of rectifications in the first half performance. It hasn't changed that much. Army ladies is still dominating, having more and more possession. But it seems so great is doing the nickel. Just take calm, attack as a unit when opportunity can they strike. And that's what they've done in the very first half. Second half, they seem to be doing the same. Not clear much changes in the first half and the formation that they are playing. They just attack the ball and when they get a glaring chance, they try to strike and see where lies. They've had a, a numerous of count, account of attacking progress in which um, it wasn't converted, but yet they are still probing. I mean, ladies, they go again. Comfort at your day. The centre referee awards the advantage to Army ladies. Vivian Donko. <laughs> she knows that another job is at hand. It hacks. She needs to execute well. Epia Nyameche of Isiam Socrates. And Patience Atre Ajete is a person of the referee to allow the player to leave the pitch in order for her to be treated for the game to continue. Fairly, this How is... about a very lovely scene? The scenery is so lovely. The fans enjoying the game from all angles here at the Inyani Basa Astrotev. Vivian Donko needs to defend this. As we approach the 65th minute of the game. Size of the fans there. Young, old, medium age, women. And the anxiety on their faces is just because their side need to defend this free kick. Vivian is just awaiting what the final moment would be before the free kick is taken. And that is where she would really have a formidable world before it's taken. She begins giving her usual instructions. And she's always calm. She doesn't shout on defenders as some goalkeepers will do. But she's just calm. And she organizes the defense so well. And she's always called to action. Free kick. I mean, I mean, what? I mean ladies, it's on target. And she got this. And anytime she makes that crucial save, she always has the final words before she goes ahead with her goal kick. The antics? Not yes, possibly. But... It could also be some of the lapses that her defenders left, of which they could have been penalized with it. It's Sam Socrates leading with 65 minutes of action. Army had just a point at the Mats Park when they hosted Sea Lions. And the match they tested and here they are trailing after 65 minutes. A Sam Secret picked three maximum points on the road when they were hosted by Berry Ladies. 
and here they are equally leading against army. Their commitment, their drive, and their mission remains unchanged. Hane Nyame class. Frederica Kai Adiko. She's fouled. By Lily Nibeloris. She controlled the ball at first. Before she was brought down by Lily Nibet Lawrence. And Lily should thank her stars that the referee spared her. Sometimes you are lucky to get away with it. Abigail loses out to Harriet Akoko. And Lily Nibel Lawrence gets a bit of that same share of what she did to Frederica Kaya Adiko. Harriet Akoko. It's Sam Socrates. Patience Atreya Ajete to Sandra Adams, Adam Al Hassan. Good control to set up Lily Nibel Lawrence, but the Pierre Nyamiche trashes it away to safety. Patience Atreya Ajete sends it in, and Vivian is rightly sported with good save for her side. She's getting her judgment right. Timely jump, calmly collected. It's the answer creates free kick. Afusa to the player whose goal her side have held on to all this well is the one who was fouled. Substitution for Army Ladies and it has seen the introduction of Nancy Opoku into the game. Harriet Akoko Ajete is equally being replaced by Mariama Foriwa. So that means one of the sisters of the Ajete family is rested temporarily by the coach. But the senior of them on target, Chester West Carway. Hannah Nyame. Hannah was very instrumental for her side when they were hosted by very ladies. Her attempt was quite a good one. A lot is expected from the captains as well. Just as patience at Triagete is doing for Ami. Hanen Ami is doing equally. Abigail, after getting the ball off from Latifa Mohammed. Patience at Triagete to Lily Nibel Lawrence. And Lily loses out to Efia Yadom. Fabrica in an offside position. Seventy minutes on the clock. Adam Al Hassan, it's on target, but Vivian gathers once again. She had the MVP when. They played against Berry Ladies, and she's on course to have another one of it. If she could keep the clean sheet as well. If it stays on like this, meaning this is going to be the first time, it's so great. 
world beats army ladies. Barbara Maffo is coming in to replace Abigail Amo of a Siam Socrates. So this is a substitution this time around from the bench of a Siam Socrates, the home side. And Vera Bema, the second top scorer for the season in both zones with eight goals. She hasn't really featured much for Army Ladies in this game. And talking in terms of top scorers that we do have, it's usually always having the likes of Princess Ohusu, of Fabulous Ladies, and then Marianne Ponsan of Ampim Dakwon Ladies. But just as is often said, every season and its surprises, every season and its player that ends up being the discovery of the year and potentially the top scorer. It's coming from the Northern Zone as well. Still Ophelia picking up. Ophelia Amponsan of Ampim Dakwa Ladies. Amitya was from Pablos. Stella Amitya is of Dreams Ladies. Not she be the top goal scorer. But there and then, the Northern Zone has some brilliant goal scorers, goal coaches, who always make sure when it comes for goal scoring, they always stop the, the chat. And that was the first impact of Nancy Opoku, with the substitute of Army Ladies. They have just 18 minutes left. The partnership of Nancy Opoku, Zinabu Al Hassan, Zinabu Mumuni was always very solid for Army Ladies. But Zinatu Al Hassan hasn't featured neither. You take it, Dries. Joyce Lynn, she ripples the side net. And she has to apologize as well. Go kick. Evelyn Yabwa decides to let Adam Al Hassan do it. Fabrika Kai Adiko. Patek is settling in now. They will have to hold on. Or more fresh leg. Afusa Tufusaini. Go kick. Just to retreat some of the games that would be played for March Day 13 from tomorrow through to Monday. For the Northern Zone Prisons, ladies will be playing against Supreme Ladies. And that game is tomorrow at the Sunyani Relation Park. A Siam Socrates with a chance to double. A Siam. A risk away. Go kick. 75 minutes. A Siam 1. Ami 0. Still on the other games. Ashton ladies would host and pimp that quant ladies at the Bantima Astro Tef tomorrow at 3 p.m. Northern ladies would be playing against Pelpia ladies. And then Dreams ladies would work on Kumasi Sports Academy. But the other game in the Northern Zone, which is underway, it is Fosu Royal Ladies 1. For Sue Royal Ladies 2, Tamale Super Ladies 0. And for the Southern Zone, this is how the matches have been lined up. Police Ladies will be playing against Lady Strikers on Sunday at 2 p.m. at the Alajo Astrotef. 
fed ladies would welcome Jonina ladies, sea lions would play against soccer intellectuals, Hazakes ladies tomorrow at the Jendu Park would welcome Berry ladies. And for our featured game on Max TV this Friday afternoon is the Siam Secrets who are leading by a long goal against Army ladies. Frederica Kai Adiko of the Siam Secrets is lying on the pitch. As at match day 12, 119 matches have been played. We have 52 wins, 33 away wins, and 44 as a result in draw. We had 275 goals scored, 157 home goals, and away 118 goals away. Penalty, 23 penalties, and 20 of them were scored. Three were missed. First half goals, 134 goals in the first half and 144 goals in the first. Patience at chair Adete, the captain of Army Ladies, is in a heated argument with the referee that Frederica Kai Adiko, if she's truly injured, needs to leave the pitch for the game to continue. She can't hold the game to ransom. And that's a decision, a protest that the referee has welcomed in good faith because she's truly right with whatever she's saying. And she's still making sure that Frederica Kayadiko's foot is not even on the pitch. The game has to continue. Of course, Army ladies wanted to make sure they had way time behind them and they need to make amends. You just can't be wasting time just for just <laughs> wasting time to say they needed to carry her off if their paramedics were not around. <laughs> Nancy Opoku of Army to Lily Nibel Lawrence. Substitution for Army ladies. And for the substitution of Army ladies. Before then, Chris Lapotuso is coming in to replace Ibrahim of Asiam Socrates. Twelve minutes to end the game. Frederica Kai Adiko is ready and is just waiting for the clearance to join her teammates. Vera Bema has been replaced by Erika Insia. This is also a substitution of army. Isiam Socrates. Frederica Kayadiko. Tactical foul by Adam Akasa. It wasn't a foul. She had a touch on the ball. And that's why the referee had to allow play to continue. Another temporal hold up, 80 minutes gone. Isiam Socrates won. Ami won. Isiam on the verge of recording their second consecutive victory in the top tier of the Women's Premier League. Ekenya Mitchell. Good interception. Eighteen minutes. <laughs> the fans are not happy about that referee's decision. <laughs> <laughs> but 
the beauty of the game is that they can't always agree with decisions. <laughs> Just some of those comments <laughs> will sweep you off your seat. 18 minutes. It seems so great to one. I'll be leading there. And if you've been wondering where I'm in, which team they are and where they play their games. Ami is the female team of the Ghana Armed Forces. Free kick, attack, abrefi. Gets the free kick for Ami ladies. And they do play their games at the Mats Bakteshi in Accra. So they are team based in the capital, but here in the central region of Ghana, playing against the central based team, it seems stupid. A team that had their derby in the top tier last season. It swung in, and this time around, side netting. The attempt was from Sandra Adams of Army Ladies. Nimble footed. Go kick. Hananyame. Atabrefi to Erica. And then you're the captain of ACM So Great. Takes to the ground. If you know what time it is and what the scoreline is, and the magnitude of this victory that it would be for ACM So Great, you would really understand why they are giving their best in this game why they are fighting with virtually every fiber in them to protect their lead. Because this victory would help them to lift frog from the relegation zone. They will get to the seventh position. The fans never disappointed. They know their team need them the most. As the number 12 in their quest to remain in the top tier. Lily Nivelle Lawrence. Was the one who completed that. Looking at the table for the Southern Zone, the last three teams, soccer intellectuals, they are on the. Vivian Dongpo saves. Soccer intellectuals, they have 12 points. You see, I'm so great. Have 11, and see, Lions have six points. So, a victory for you see, I'm so great would see them getting 14 points ahead of soccer intellectuals. Initially, it was Frederica Kayadiko who was treated. Hane Nyami had her turn, so that's Frederica. She was initially treated. After her, the captain, Hane Nyame of Isiam So Great, had her turn. But for the remaining five minutes before the game ends, it is the turn of goalkeeper Vivian Donko, who has taken off her gloves. Because she needs to get that thorough treatment. <laughs> 
All that matters is you get in the lead and leave the rest for collective efforts. She must have surely <laughs> getting herself injured on that load. No one is disputing that. She didn't go down well. She might have. <laughs> it wasn't a slip anyway, but she landed on that elbow, calling on the paramedics to attend to her. Nana Ama Asanti, the former goalkeeper of police ladies. Nana Asantoa. This is what she reminds me so much of. Whenever her team is playing, all that she needs the most is her team getting the goals. And as she would always tell them, leave the rest to me. Four minutes to end proceedings. The Malta Guinness Women's Premier League match, day 13. And just a quick reminder that on Sunday, another game will be shown on TV, kind courtesy of IMAX Media. Police ladies would be playing against lady strikers. Vivian is back. And it's ready to continue with the game for her team. Free kick. I mean, ladies are racing against time to make amends. Afusatu clears the lines for her side. Ami. And the referee says that Afusatu was not clipped into as she would want to purport. An exchange involving patience at her. Ajete and then Frederica Kai Adiko. I try need to calm herself and her players down. Lilibar Lawrence. Frederica Kai Adiko. Ajete's effort went straight with that committed block from Afusatu of Esiam Socrates. Two minutes plus additional time. Ekuyanyamiche. She has indeed done her job well as a holding midfielder for Isiam Socrates. She was taxed with the responsibility of being that shield for her defense. <laughs> Go kick. Ata Abrefi wanted to pull a surprise with that long range effort. The second half, the coach said they'll be firing bullets from all angles, and definitely they are going to get their score boots on. But it seems they are firing from all angles, but it's not getting to the right place. Hannah, we start the match for SM Soccer. As a true advantage. SM so quick. They can afford time. True. Watch if you are them. But that's true. Not able to keep it in now. Another foul. Another foul. True for. As I said, peace rather. And Adam Al Hasawo. Second minute 
minutes of additional time. Another player of Siam Socrates is down. Whose turn is it now? Barbara Mafo takes her turn. A protest by Latifa Muhammad has gotten her a yellow card. And so all the cards that have been brandished in this game have gone the way of army ladies. A few seconds ago, I said Atred needs to calm herself down and match as her players. Cards like this are needful, they are not needed. They have less matches more to go, they should make sure they are not missing other matches. Deborah Poku is replacing Lily Nibel Lawrence of Army Ladies. They have just four minutes. Army Ladies. They have only four minutes to make things right and salvage a point here at the Enyane Basa Astrotev in the central region. They thought they could live here with three points because in all encounters, the previous meetings between Army Ladies and the Siam Sucrete, two of them have resulted in victories for Army Ladies with just one resulting in a draw. And as such, if Siam Sucrete are able to hold on for the remaining minutes, it would mean that this will be the first ever victory that Siam Sucrete would get over Army Ladies since they joined the top tier of the Women's Premier League. Ata Abrefi, Hannah Nyame heads it off. Afusa to the goal scorer. Feathers away with the clearance. Adam Al Hassan to Patience Atreya Ajete. Committed her the corner kick. I have to say to her that goes again anywhere we do at this time. She has really had a very ridiculous performance for her side. So, so incredible. She had a goal and she has defended so much well as well for her side. Corner kick swung in. Go kick. Two minutes left. If just a point at home was considered to be a bad result for army ladies, then this should be worst results. I don't think this time around they are underrated the same circuit. Nancy Opoku. Nancy still in possession, hoping to send in a good delivery, but she ends up miskicking. Efia Yadom has to take her time. before she takes that throw in for her side. Less than two minutes to end the proceeding. And Amelia is still searching for that equalizer. They have put all they could this to make sure they can make amends but it's still not working ACM circuit is trying to defend the goal they scored 
knowing that they cannot get a second goal. They were pinned to their own half for the last five minutes. And they have defended really well. Attack for army ladies. The same sort have played their lines. This is the second time. And then it's been booted away. That is the end. It's all over here at the Inyane Baza Astrotev victory for Isiam So Great. The final whistle indeed received overwhelming reception from the fans of Isiam So Great. Two consecutive defeats for them, two consecutive victories for them in the Women's Premier League. They started the game on the ninth position and they have ended the game on the eighth position with victory. Three points, but one goal gotten in addition to what they've already had in the season. It ends here. A Siam Secrets one, Army Ladies. A Siam Secrets one, Army Ladies zero. This is how the game all started for the second half. After trailing in the first half, Army Ladies needed to come in strongly if they were to leave here with any point at all. They began dominating as usual. Their captain, Patience Atre Ajete, had the first yellow card when she committed that foul earlier. And what they needed to do was to maintain their composure and create as many chances as they could, and other to draw parity. But it wasn't meant to be looking at the ridiculous ability of goalkeeper Vivian Donko in goal post for Isiam's Socrates. Isiam's Frederica Kai Adiko needed to double the lead for them here. But it wasn't on target. Another yellow card was brandished, paving the way for Abigail to have converted that free kick for Isiam. Ata Abrefi's effort went straight into the arms of Vivian Donko. Another opportunity through a set piece was presented to Ami for them to get that knee, that equalizer. With the clock ticking and they seriously contending against time and a CM Socrates. They had to be potent up front. But the CM Socrates were also very resilient and resolute in defense making things difficult for them. So it ends here at the Inyan Ebasa Astrotev. It's a Siam Socrates one, Army Ladies zero. Over to Nafisa for the post-match analysis and interviews. It's all over here at Anyan Abase Astrotev where ASM Socrates have beaten Army Ladies by a goal to nil. I have here the coach with me of Army Ladies. Bad day in the office. What really happened to Army Ladies today? To me, it's unfortunate we lost the match. It's, unfo it's unfortunate we lost the match because we came here to win. If you could watch, we played all the, the game, but we, 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 we spoiled so many chances too. So what we are going to do is We've, we've, we've seen what uh, 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 our mistakes. So when we go back, to, when we get back to Accra, we will just correct our mistakes and then see the next game 
forward. Seeing the game, three matches, just a draw, two lose. Army ladies, uh -huh. top four. Are you still in contention in the top four? Yes, yes, the top four there. Who bomb is qualified for the top four? Okay. Mm. Thank you and better luck. <laughs> Thank next you time. too. So bad day in the office for Army ladies. For the first time, ACM Socrates has beaten them by go to nil. Four matches for them. Army ladies winning two, they drawing one. We have here the winning coach. Coach, how was it back to back and on the way to the trip, winning and then winning here at home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We took an inspiration for our game against uh, Berry in Medina, and I told you we are going to we are going to make it at home because we we, we have a home advantage to our our, our team. And I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy today. We have been able to to make it. At least we are getting enough points for our game. Yeah. So from here, your next match going away. Are you going to amass the next three points? Because definitely, it's a must win for us. Because where we are lying now, hey, it's not good for us. So definitely, when we are going, we are going to take another inspiration from this game again. Your very last question: Are all your injured players back? Because you are amassing results now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have, I have most of them back. I have most of them. Most back. of them. Yeah, I have most okay. Of them back. Good luck in your next match. Thank and you very much. Thank coach. you very much. Thank so you much. coach has been the very happy person now, winning away, and then now winning at home is. Just joyous for ASM Socrates. And now, one hour, Jabba Sobodian. A ban is an amuti me a winning there. What's an Jabba Sobodian? Eh, Nina, you ever can say a Yamia do my work. That's the much a damp point and cooking because the shell last season now, the way I am a sequena this season, the young moon. In Tina, be bare down to head the head by a work hard. There should be bare down. Into me, Jemma, I miss her. Okay. In the SM circuit, Mobeka Women's Premier League new this season, Anna. But you are welcome. Okay, and that's it. What do you know? So that was the woman of the match we've been speaking to. It has been a joyous moment and a nyan abase here in the central region and elsewhere in the northern zone. Fosu Royal Ladies has beaten Temale Super Ladies by two goals to one. As I said, from here, it has been SM circuit one. Army Ladies Zero. My name is Nafi Safata, as a wrap up from here as Enyan Abase in the Central Region. Bye. You can't go out to play, mosquitoes will bite you. But there's no rainy season. There are no mosquitoes. Rainy season or not, there are mosquitoes. But Medisalt mosquito repellent. Baba yo to mosquitoes. When the family has got it, mosquitoes everywhere. All you need is Medisalt mosquito repellent. Medisalt, Medisalt, Medisalt mosquito repellent. Students with a go prep. Mosquitoes, they this step. All you need is Medisoft Mosquito Repellent. Check, check, run in all gas security. No more mosquito bites. Bye bye, yo, to mosquitoes. Trisha, madam. I don't know what I'm going to say. I'm going to say, 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 I'm it's here, my baby, baby, mommy, your best, ma. A sign, boy, it will soon be your sinner. Jenna Febby and son of boss, I bet you will not find you so. At the end, I'm going to see you. Mummy, no, mummy, my office was here. I am one of them. Boss, Tina Tech Venice. Me to my mirror. Now, me, me, once a minute, my toba come on me home. And I'm a toba come on me, baba. A cool papa, papa. A drui and your man call out on the twelve years. O mama fire funu any oma o mamba nufu. FD Aji Judy in Kratu Atum. Coco Piles Hemorrhoids in Tibanyan wood rope recope. Anni Iona Pharmacy the piling capsules ne piling ointment. Abba Piling P Y L I N Bibia Fifri Woto. William Tati Mwana Sadi Ade Coco dan and what do you nipa diamubiara? Mount Sanka Piling. Washa da aya pilin ama koko pilin aya plant medicine kayo p y l i n ubenya pilin capsules ewa pharmacy herbal shop and i licensed chemical shop biaremo pilin
o kwadro tata hwe apinfo e ma wo man kwada no fo ene nkwada wo ni mfie du mienu entumi mfa edru ebi this advert is fda approved i use it every day it's my beauty secret let me tell you about it marie france lotion suits all skin types and keeps it radiant and perfect it's everyone's beauty secret lotion 